And we are learning that a two-year-old boy badly burned in a fire is now in critical condition. The child was burned yesterday when a two-family home caught fire on West Hollywood Street that's east of Woodward near Seven Mile on Detroit's east side. The fire broke out around 1 yesterday afternoon. 35 firefighters rushing to the home to attack the fire and to rescue the boy. Detroit's fire chief tells us that the boy is now at Children's Hospital in Detroit, suffering from burns to 63% of his body. Investigators aren't sure how the fire started in the back of that home, but the chief says this is a safety warning about avoiding fires in the winter. This time of the year, just make sure when you're trying to keep that house warm, we know it's cold outside. We know these temperatures are just frigid. Just make sure if you're using any kind of heating device as far as a space heater or something, keep it at least three feet away from any kind of flammable material where there's window treatment, toys, uh, furniture. Just always put safety first. Well, the chief, we also asked the chief if he can tell us how many kids were in the home at the time it went up in flames. It's one of the many questions we're still trying to get answered. Well, now to the race for the White House. Voting is underway right now in New Hampshire for the first presidential primary in the nation. Donald Trump and Nikki Haley are going head to head for the Republican nomination after all the other GOP candidates dropped out of the race. ABC's Melissa Adon has the latest. The polls are open and people across the state of New Hampshire are casting their ballots. I think it's more about who you're voting against and it's who you're voting for. We need to pick the person that can beat Joe Biden. Residents in the tiny community of Dixville Notch casting the first votes of the primary at the stroke of midnight. All six voters choosing former South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley as their Republican presidential nominee. Haley, who stopped by this polling place in Hampton this morning. We've worked New Hampshire hard and we're excited to see what the day brings. ABC's 538 polling average shows that while Trump still has a sizable lead, the gap between the former president and Haley has narrowed since December. And just in the last couple of weeks, you start to see Haley tick up a little bit. And even since Iowa ticking up a little bit, the problem for her, Donald Trump ticked up even more. Former President Trump's former rivals in the Republican primary have officially thrown their support behind him. It's amazing the way you can like somebody when you win, right? Today, President Biden, Vice President Harris, and their spouses will host a rally in Virginia to discuss abortion access, flagging how Democrats plan to put abortion rights front and center to the general election campaign. Most polls will close by 7 tonight, and then all eyes will be on South Carolina. That primary is next month, but polls there are showing that Trump is leading by more than 30 points. Melissa Adon, ABC News, Manchester, New Hampshire. All right, you know that sound. Hey, we're talking Lions football. Lions fans are scrambling to make travel plans so they can cheer on the team in the NFC Championship. Coach Dan Campbell and his team will be on the road Sunday taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Now, if you plan to travel west, Cadillac Travel Group tells us most direct flights are already sold out, but there are still plenty of affordable hotel rooms if you can make it. Now, if you're looking for a flight, consider going to Oakland or San Jose. They're not far from the 49ers Stadium in Santa Clara. We spoke to a hardcore fan who's thrilled. He's already found a way to get there to root for the team. I wanted to be there. Um, just kind of like, kind of as the momentum built through the season, too, the more games I kept going to, it's like, I want to keep this going. Well, tickets to that game are expensive. We've been checking retail tickets on Ticketmaster, and the cheapest tickets we found so far, cheapest, are $700 after fees. While there are still some lower bowl tickets for over $1,000, or over $1,000, but remember, we were seeing tickets here at Four Field for three, four, five thousand dollars. So you might even say it's a bit of a bargain. Well, hey, think. Speaking of Ford Field, it didn't take long for tickets to the Lions watch party at Ford Field to sell out. They went on sale Monday morning, and they're already long gone. Gates for the watch party open at five Sunday night, 90 minutes before the 6:30 kickoff. And we invite you to stay with Seven Axe News both on air and online at WXYZ.com all week long as we count down to Sunday's kickoff of the NFC Championship game. We have everything you need to know on our website, WXYZ.com. Well, still ahead here at noon, a deadly attack in Gaza. 21 Israeli troops killed, but they weren't targets. What militants were trying to blow up when their weapon caused a chain reaction. Plus, making a difference for migrants in Detroit. At 1230, how one local shelter is taking in people looking for asylum and what's stopping them from getting work.